Welcome. Let's discuss the idea of the side angle side similarity theorem. So let's consider a set of congruent angles, angle A and angle B. And then in addition, we are given that the blue sides are proportional to each other and the green sides are also proportional to each other. Let's create two triangles given the congruent angles and the proportional sides. Let's move the blue sides to be on the left hand side of each triangle. Notice this blue length has a length of 6. Notice that this blue length has a length of 3 centimeters. Now let's move the greens. Notice that this green length has a length of 8. And notice that this green length has a length of 4. Now let's connect the endpoints to create our two triangles. This line segment has a length of 6.4 centimeters. And this line segment has a length of 3.2 centimeters. Let's give it a name to our triangle. Now let's think about, is there any relationship between the sides of both of those triangles? Let's look at the proportion of the blue sides. EA over FB. And then let's compare it to the proportion of the green sides. AD over BG. And then let's look at the proportion of the white sides. ED over FG. Now let's plug in those values. Here we'll have 6 over 3, followed by 8 over 4, followed by 6, 4 divided by 3, 2. Which notice that all proportions have the same value, that is the value of 2. So if all sides have the same proportion, then we can say that the figures have the same proportion, which in this case, it's a proportion of a scale factor of two. And if we were able to identify a scale factor, then we can conclude that both of these triangles are similar to each other. And this is the idea behind the side angle psi similarity theorem. Given a set of congruent angles, if the sides on the left hand side of that same angle are proportioned to each other, and the sides on the right hand side of that same congruent angle are also proportionally to each other, then we will always obtain two similar triangles. But it is very important to notice that the angle that is congruent is the angle that is between both of the proportional sides within the triangle. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.